My name is Asia Pinder and I will be interviewing Dr. Patterson. Uh, she is an alumni and professor at Texas Southern University. My first question today is going to be when and where were you born? I was born in Houston, Texas. I'm a native Houstonian uh, in 1945, November 10th. All right. Um, what are the, some of what things in your childhood stick out to you the most? During what era? Um, just in your childhood. Just you can be in. In my childhood, <coughs> on the devious end. I recall my sister being somewhat of a genius academically, and it was my time to wash dishes, or however you want to wash them. <laughs> so I wrote good essays back then, and I told her I'd write two essays. She wasn't a great essay person, but, and I wrote two essays, and keep in mind that she's the genius, academic <laughs> genius. I was the quiet one. She was very vocal. And I gave her the one that I thought was the B one, and I kept what I thought was the A one on Hurricane Clark. It turned out she got the A, and I got the B. <laughs> <laughs> I recall that very vividly. Um, and that's one of the things that I remember about uh, my sister and I. Um, I had a younger brother who was is 11 years younger than I, I recall coming after school, picking him up from the babysitter on my hips. And uh, she and he did not get along, maybe because there were two babies. She was a baby for the longest. <laughs> <laughs> and I was always the referee. I recall that. Um, and this is childhood. Okay. Um. As a child, what were your parents' views on college? Did they think it was important? Uh, my mother thought it was very important. She initially was a single parent. Uh, and they supported me in all my endeavors <coughs> of wanting to attend college. All of my events in high school, National Honor Society initiations, Etc. Etc. So they supported me. Uh, so I had great family support being a first generation college graduate. All right. Um, what motivated you the most to go to college? I had once upon a time a stepfather who said that in his anger that my sister and I would never do anything but bring a lot of babies to the house for him to take care of. Consequently, I guess that was like a negative positive reinforcement. So we both were straight A students, honor students, etc. And that was, I guess, an impact. Plus the other thing is my mother was a great support. She always believed in us and and prepare us for the best. All right. Um, why Texas Southern University? Texas Southern uh, was the first place that offered me a scholarship for a summer institute. So that's how I got acclimated to it being a first college, uh, first uh, generation college graduate. I just jumped at the chance. And my goals were then <clears throat> still to be in mathematics, but I wanted to be a statistician in Washington, D.C. However, I could not afford my dream school, which was in California. So being realistic, I didn't just shoot for that. I just, whatever God gave me, that's what I dealt with. All right. Um, what did you study? What, what did you study? What did I what? Study. Oh, uh, my undergrad was mathematics education, master's in uh, mathematics. Uh, my terminal degree is in urban education with 
emphasis in teacher here. Okay. Um, who would you identify as an important mentor or role model during college? Hmm. I guess Dr. Laura Clarkson was my first math professor that I encountered in the Summer Institute, although he was a little strange. He supported myself and my sister by having an open door policy and pushed us a little bit. Uh, there were quite a number of people who uh, supported us here in Texas, Southern from the registration department on. And we just weathered through the challenges of being a fresh freshman and learning the operations of being a student, first time student on the university campus together. Um, could you describe the campus as it was when you attended it to as it is now? Uh, back then, we was the campus was not nearly as large as it is now. We did not have as many colleges. Uh, it was just say maybe one tenth of this size. There were basically two main, two to three main buildings if you count the uh, library. We had the science building and um, we always had the MLK building and um, there was a Fairchild building, as I recall. Can you describe to me what the culture is at an HBCU? The, uh, the current uh, culture is a little different from when I first started. We're now more or less a multi culture institution with an international affairs area and it's growing and it has grown to me to be somewhat of from a global aspect to include education for all ethnic groups more so than specifically um, banning out the blacks. Now we're noted quite a lot for the law school which includes all races, uh, pharmacy school, and uh, of course, the College of Engineering, Computer Science and Technology. Uh, just to briefly put everything in perspective. All right, um, why do you think that it's important for there to be HBCUs for the African American um, today in society? Uh, I think it's important that they do exist because there are cultural differences in learning. Although now most institutions uh, address those things when dealing with individual students and clusters. Okay. Um, when you were in school, going through any dramatic times, how could you push through and still prevail in everything? Uh, again, look at myself first, with the incentives and goals that I had for myself. I pushed through from that aspect. I did cry a lot to myself. <laughs> But then I would shake it off and continue. I didn't just drown in my sorrows. The baby's sick and I have to stay at home. Uh, God put some excellent family 